Welcome back. Muling nagpakitang gila sa atletang Pinoy sa international stage. Ang National Milo Marathon King na si George Andrade ang nag-emerge sa na winner sa recent Borneo International Marathon, beating some of the top runners ng Borneo, Malaysia, Kenya, and other countries as well. And also joining us today are Rudy Del Campo and Lester Castillo from Milo Nessay, Philippines. Good evening, gentlemen. Welcome to the Hi. score. Good, good evening. evening. Congrats good evening. sa'yo, George. Grabe. Yeah. Okay, babalikan ka tamayami. But I'll start with Sir Willie. Sir, uh, it, it's amazing the story of George. Uh, we were yes. talking to him last week from what he was able to do, surprising everybody in Cebu and all that. But, you know, it, it, it's so fitting in your campaign. What's your role? What's Milo's role really in helping build the champion athletes? And that's what you clearly yeah. did with George. Yeah. You know, we at Nestle, our biggest advocacy is to drive nutrition, health, and wellness for the Filipino families mm -hmm. and Filipino nation. And the role of Milo there, TJ, is really to get families and the nation into an active and healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So building champions just becomes a natural uh, throughput or advocacy for that. Because mm -hmm. more than just by getting kids and families into sports, we want to encourage them to be active and hopefully we can identify future champions right. there. And the, the interesting there is, thing there is you don't just jump in when they're potential no. superstars. You start them young. Yes. Your whole campaign, your tagline is get your child into sports. So yeah. talk about that, how, how you really want to nurture them as, as young as possible. You know, uh, the get your child into sports is very special to us. It's our, mm. it's our, it's our advocacy for Milo. Because TJ, um, we know that we want to build champions, but it, it doesn't stop there at mm -hmm. building champions. We want to build champions in life. We believe na a champion and sports and Milo helps drive values. Sports drives values. Mm -hmm. Values that they can bring throughout their lives. Right, Perseverance, right. teamwork, dedication. These are champion values that we help as an advocacy that Milo brings in. Well said. Well, Sir Lester, naman, let's talk about the specific uh, race that he ran. It's specific na we talked about a bit last week na pinili niyo yung uh, Borneo International Marathon. Uh, tell us a story about how you decided that was the one you'll bring him to. You'll support him and all the way. And you know, look at you. What like, what was he, he was able to do? Yeah. Okay. So uh, last year, uh, Milo uh, uh, George emerged as the Milo Marathon King. Right. And uh, together with MJ Tabal as the Milo Marathon Queen. Mm -hmm. So part of the agreement with them is uh, we'll bring them into an international race. Mm -hmm. um, so si George uh, pinili namin yung Borneo International Marathon. Okay. Uh, mainly because it is uh, an AIMS certified uh, race. Okay. And um, we have uh, ties with the with the organizer. So ngayon na napili namin yon ito, pumunta na kami doon at uh, kumarera si George at ni-represent ang Pilipinas. What was the vibe like when you were there? Um, dami bang international competitors? May mga Pinoy ba? Kamusta yung atmosphere? Tumak mo ka rin, di ba? Sa 21K. Yes, yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so when we arrived there as early as a Friday, hmm. we went to the race expo. Uh, kinuha na ni George yung race kit niya. And uh, during the expo, we were able to discover that there were around 87 Filipino participants right. among the 10,000 participants. Wow, okay. And among the 10,000 participants, there are um, top uh, foreign participants coming from 50 different countries, mm -hmm. including, syempre, merong, merong Kenya, yep. merong uh, Malaysia, merong Taiwan, uh, tsaka merong Brunei. So, kamusta yung vibe? It was a very uh, festive atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, the Borneo Marathon is, uh, is a really organized race. Uh, it started in 2008, and yung growth ng participants niya through the years, sobrang uh, exponential. Mainly because tapakaganda ng pagka-organize yung race. And uh, Saba, uh, Borneo, Malaysia, is a... Uh, it's a nice place to go to. Mm -hmm. Maganda siyang racecation for, for the family. Racecation. Okay, well, this guy, hindi niya tira na itong vacation. Talagang sineryosa niya. Yeah. George, congratulations muli sa nagawa mo. Pero, uh, kwenta mo sa amin, ano yung pinagdaanan mo dun sa race na yun? Una-una, nung pagdating mo, nakita mo yung mga matinining kalaban mula sa Kenya, Taiwan, Malaysia. Sabi mo nga, first time mo umaris ng Pilipinas. <laughs> so, first time mo lumaban sa labas ng Pilipinas. Na, kinabahan ka ba o hindi ka na-intimidate sa mga kalaban mo? Siyempre, kinabahan po ako. Tapos, mm. kung nakikita ko sila, nai-excited ako na makarace ko sila. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga, ano, first time ko yun. Tapos, pag, nung nagsimula na yung ano, takbuhan, naglilid na po ako. Tapos, paglagpas ko ng sampung kilometro, kung napil ko na hindi masyado maganda yung kondisyon ko dahil siguro sa ano, ubo at sipon. Okay. Tapos, in halfway of the race, yung... Hindi ko pa alam yung Kenyan pa lang yung sumusunod sa akin. Uh -huh. Two kilometers yung gap ko sa kanya. Okay. So hindi mo pa siya tanaw noon. Medyo malayo uh, pa yun. Uh, no? Pero malapit na pit na yun. Uh -huh. Tapos around 24 to 32 kilometers. Doon yung pinaka mahirap na course sa race. Kasi mahilig ako sa akyatan pero na 
masabi kong grabe yun. Grabe yun, ha? Oh, tuk-tuk, three times akong, ano, huminto at naglakad na wow, ng saglit. Okay, okay. Back to recover my muscles. Okay, okay. Tapos, in the last six kilometers, 800 meters na lang yung gap ko sa kanya. Minumonitor oh, no. ko kasi sa martials kasi okay, yung nilaradyo. Okay. okay. Tapos, in the, ngayon nga, last six kilometers, pinil ko na yung cram sa legs ko. Tapos, pinagpatuloy ko yung, ano, pising ko. Tapos, in the last 3 kilometers, 500 na lang. Uh-huh. So, 500 meters na lang oh, naman mo sa kanya. 500 na lang. Nakikita ko na siya kasi mayroong matataas na, mm. ano, na street na daan. Okay. Tapos, ano, bigay na yung katawan ko yung last 3 kilometers mm-hmm. eh. Parang hihinto na nga. Sabi ko, magkikwit na siguro ako. Pero, nang, uh, night before the race, Uh-oh. nangako kasi ako sa sarili ko na Ha, hanggat maihakbang ko yung paa ko, tatapusin Hindi ko yung talaga. Wow. race. Kasi, wow. uh, feel ko yung ano, suporta ng Milo sa akin. Mas sabi kong grabe, grabe talaga, talaga yung effort nila. Grabe. So, sila yung pinaghuhugutan ko ng lakas for the last three kilometers to finish the race. <laughs> Galing! Kasi, niisip ko, wala akong maihahara, may mukhang maihahara sa kanila kung <laughs> matatalo ako. Although, naman lang din naman, ano ka? They're cheering for Opo, you, but, pero, but pero, ganun yung pakiramdam mo. Wow! Oh, ganun yung pakiramdam mo. <laughs> Galing! Na, tapos, one kilometer po, oh. yan, 250 na lang. So, oh, no. Ganun ka lapit! Oo. Oh, oh. Ayan na, sa ano, likuran ko siya, tapos oh. lumilingon kasi ako lagi kasi oh. para ma-monitor ko siya kung anong, gaano nakalayo. Tapos yun, ibinihos ko na lahat ng lakas ko hanggang sa finish line. Nice. Oh, At nung tumawid ka na, uh, oh. so according to lesser, nahimatay ka pa nga, oh, saglit. Opo. Anong, anong pakiramdam? Tapos apparently after five minutes, nagkamalay ka ulit. Pero ano nung pakiramdam? Oh. Nung pagkamalay mo, na, na-realize mo ulit na nanalo ka, <laughs> ano na yung, buma- bumalik ba yung happy feelings na nanalo ka eventually? Nagka, nung nagkamalay ako, oh. after 5 minutes, hindi pa ako bumangon eh. Okay. 20 to 30 minutes, na. recover my mm-hmm. ano, body. Okay. Kasi hindi ko may galaw yung katawan ko. Grabe mm-hmm. yung cramps. Okay. Tapos nung ano, nagkamalay, na, uh, nakatayo na ako, pumunta na ako sa winning holding area. Uh-huh. Ayun, mukhang hindi maganda nung nangyari sa amin doon. Kasi habang ini-interview kami with si Sir Lister sa ano, sa ano, media dun sa Malaysia, lumapit yung Kenya. Tapos parang inu- iniinsulto niya kami kasi hindi siya makapiliwala. Hindi siya makapiliwala, natalo siya. Kita natin siya, siya yung nasa second place, unfortunately. Oh. Pero alam natin ang Kenya, napakalakas sa takbuhan niya. Grabe talaga. First time. Grabe, first time daw na natalo ang isang Kenya. Oh, sa oh. So anong, anong, siguro pang huli, George, ano masasabi mo nito sa, sa Milo, sa support na binigay nila sa'yo? Uh, kita mo nga ngayon, just, just to to talk about this kasama mo Sir Willie at si Sir Lesser let dito sa sa Discord. Siguro words is not enough to say thank you for for them uh, pero uh, nagpapasalamat po ako lalo-lalo na kay Sir Joe Wiyoy, mm-hmm. Sir Willie de Ocampo at sa Milo team mm-hmm. at most especially kay Sir Lester yeah. na inalagaan niya ako doon para akong boost doon eh. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> niya ako pinapalaan. Galing, galing. Ang ganda ng kwento, ang ganda ng kwento. But thank you so much guys for sharing the message with us. And so really, your last word siguro from Milo and, yeah. and, and what a success story we've seen in Georgia from from a nobody here in the Ma- National Milo Marathon to winning it all and then winning in, in, in international yeah. run. We will continue as Milo to nourish ambitions of Filipinos. Mm-hmm. Uh, generations of Filipino families have loved Milo. And we'll continue to nourish generations of ambitions to build champions in life. And we have a Milo Marathon this year, so we might yes. discover a new one. Yes, uh, so we have a total of 11 races in uh-huh. the Milo Marathon this right. year. Okay. And ang tema natin is magsama-sama, tumakbo at matuto. Coming from Sir Willie's message kanina, through sports you get to learn these character-forming values that will help them succeed in life. Uh, excellent, and we can't wait for you to discover and, uh, and nurture more champions in the yeah. future. But I'm Thank, right. Thank you. Thank you. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.